What's up, bad bitches and sad bitches? It's your girl, Kennedy Michelle. And I'm back with another motherfucking video, okay? So in this video, we're just gonna do like an update, uh, get ready with me type shit. I'm not really getting ready, but I'm just redoing my hair because I'm about to film a clothing haul. Stay tuned for that because it is a Shein clothing haul. And I wore my hair like this yesterday to my cousin's funeral. If you didn't know, well, y'all wouldn't have known, but my cousin passed away. He was um, 30 years old. He had just turned 30 and um, he was on his way home for work. from work. He worked at um, Chrysler. He was on his way home from work and um, he was riding his motorcycle, which he loved to do. And I love that he loved that and found something that he loved. But he was on his way home from work. I hope I said work and not school. But yeah, he was on his way from work and a girl was speeding. She drove past. No, she didn't drive past. She hit him and um, the impact was so hard. I guess by the time she realized she hit something because he was on the windshield, she ran into a pole and... Um, his body fell on the ground and that's where he died my cousin my aunt but worked at the same plant as him so she um rushed over to his side and she held him before he died but the lady did um get out of the car and leave before um anybody saw her pretty much but she was on camera and um everybody knows we know who the girl is she's currently in custody right now but yeah we know everything and all that but I just wanted to get on here because yesterday we laid him to rest and it was beautiful. It was everything I hoped it would be for him and it was just everything. I saw my family and we all just came together for him. And it just shows how much how much family is important, especially good family, you know, people that are good to you. But yeah, it was nice. It was so many people that have um that went up and um said good things about him said how they like people that worked with him always talked said how they made his day like he he had made everybody's day always told people to be who they are and he did used to always tell us to be who we are and it was just really nice to hear that he made such an impact in so many people's lives and that's really what's important when you're here so i really think he fulfilled his job and what he was sent here to do so I'm proud of him and I love him. I just hope he knows that. But yeah, so that's what I've been dealing with. Um, I'm still in cosmetology school. Well, currently in cosmetology school. I am on month, September, October. So I'm on month two of cosmetology school. Almost finished with month two, which is very crazy to me. Um, it's like crazy like I'm actually doing it I'm doing something and it's not easy it's a lot of hard work it's a lot of tight schedule not being able to do a lot of stuff that you want to do but it's good so I like it and if you want to know what I'm putting on my hair I'm using hold on let me show you things about I'm using silk elements coconut glossing polish love this oh I'm wasting it y'all I have a travel size, but um, I'm going to get the big size. So I had got it to try it out because I was doing my sister's hair. And I'm also using their, what is this? Coconut heat protectant spray. So like their whole little coconut line is really nice. Sorry, got to grab my towel. But the whole coco coconut, coconut line is super nice. I love it. Um, definitely gonna buy the whole line soon. I just wanted to get the travel size to try it out first. But we tried that out. I love it. My sister, it worked really good on my sister's hair. She has really coarse hair, so love that. So I just split. I'll show you how the back looks, but it looks like this. I didn't do like half, exactly half of my hair up. But, um, because I wanted most of it down, so. But you can do as much as you feel. 
because why not it's your life let's not forget <laughs> but yeah so that's what i've been up i'm currently working still i work at the ugg store right now so currently working there i like it it's pretty cool we do have some girls at my job they don't really work and that's like not they don't really work they're just not like as friendly as everybody else and not mean friendly as like friendly to me because they're cool they talk to me but they're just not like friendly to the customer they don't really know how to push a sale and i don't mean push like force anybody but like you know you know like convince people they don't really they're not really into that and that's the thing with us like well, especially if you're in sales you kind of have to be able to convince people so that's really the only thing but so far life's been great still single out this piece okay i'm tired of being single but i know it's for the best and i'm like so young but it's boring out here y'all like if you know then you know it's boring out here and then i see all the people i went to high school with in relationships i'm just like i'm so happy for y'all hope y'all are getting treated right period as y'all should you know but yeah that's pretty much it that's been going on with me i just been you know trying to stay on top of school because cosmetology school is a lot but you learn a lot like my teacher and I'm happy because not people go to cosmetology school well a lot of people tell me like you're not gonna learn anything and I'm like I don't know who you're talking to because I'm gonna learn something you know especially if I'm paying for this I'm gonna learn so that's exactly what I'm doing right now I'm learning everything you know I asked a whole bunch of questions as you should whenever wherever you're doing wherever you're going and especially if you're learning always ask questions always clarify your answer their answer or whatever whoever you're asking you know what i mean always clarify and right now we're just doing some flat iron curls <clears throat> and this one is not really giving what it's supposed to give there we go I'm not doing too much because I had obviously already did my hair. Um, the funeral was on yesterday, so it was Monday. And um, so I had did my, I curled my hair that morning. So obviously I don't want to keep putting a lot of heat on my hair. So I'm just curling a little bit. But you see that, and I'm like, I love cosmetology school because like I can learn how to do stuff on my own hair. Like, yeah, I knew how to fly and curl, but I didn't. It's like you know, if you're do hair and you never went to school, it's like you know things. But when you go to school, you learn the proper way how to do things. Extra like better tips that just make it better. So that's why I like school. Like, I think everybody should go, especially if you want to do hair. You should definitely go to school and get your license. I mean, unless you would just want to be straight braider, then you, you don't need your license. And, so, and you also need to look up your state because they have laws and rules and stuff. So, because like a lot of hairstylists, they don't like washing people's hair. They just don't like doing it. But when you're in cosmetology school, you learn. But like also they complain when people's hair isn't properly washed well how are they supposed to know how to properly wash their hair and they never had the trainer or they just not into hair that much you know what i'm saying so it's like you just learn and then it's like in cosmetology school it makes you want to wash everybody's hair because you never know what kind of um dandruff they have what kind of scalp disease they have you know stuff like that so it's very important to um wash hair and stuff like that this is just really good to like learn all the things all the little extra things all the little details honestly but yeah i just gotta start taking my youtube serious because it's actually something i want to do i know that i'll be able to gain a big following soon 
if I just be consistent because it's like stuff people want to see. Like, I want to vlog as well. I'm just like, I don't want to become a like, I want to become a big vlogger, but I don't at the same time because it's like, if I get on Neek, if you know who Life is Neek is, if I get on Neek status, everybody's gonna feel like they can have stuff to say about my life, you know, basically like a celebrity. And I don't know if that's what I truly and I don't know if that's what I truly want yet. So I'm trying to figure out what I want to base my channel on. Obviously, right now it's kind of based on more like hauls and I plan on doing more hair videos because obviously that's what I'm into. But right now I'm just still trying to decide like what I want for my channel as for. But yeah. I wish we was on like FaceTime so I could ask y'all how y'all like them, but y'all can comment in the comments and tell me how's everything going with y'all, because I would love to know. Even the bad things, I mean, I told y'all about my cousin, and that was a lot. Like yesterday, we all, the whole family cried a lot. It was a lot for all of us, because he was really the only blood boy in our family. Um... That, like, we were close to. Like, my immediate family, like. So, we loved him. Like, everybody loved him. Like, he couldn't do any wrong in our eyes. But he never did. Like, never did wrong, ever. Was always just happy and laughy and gullible. And always playing too much. Like, one thing about him, he used to play all day. And he did not care. <laughs> but I love him. And, you know, death is hard, but it's, we're all going to die one day. And that's what I'm, like, finally realizing. Because if you didn't know, my friend passed away about six months ago. And it was really hard for me. That was, like, my first death, my first funeral. And um, it was just super hard for me. Because I was like, wow. Like, this is real. Like, everybody's going to leave one day, even you, you know? And I used to be scared to death. And I'm not going to lie, I kind of still am. Like, even, And even with me being spiritual, reading tarot and stuff like that, I am still have, like, I'm still, like, get anxiety sometimes when I think about, you know, dying and death. It's just crazy. I'm trying to get this little piece, y'all. But yeah, so, but it's, it's life and that's one thing everybody's going to have to understand. That's why you live your life to the fullest and do what you simply want to do. You don't live for anybody but yourself and that's what you do. Okay. But yeah, so I've just been vibing, you know. Doing stuff with my life. Nothing too deep yet. So I'm currently working at the Ugg store, but it's a pop-up shop. It's not um, a permanent store. So in January, I will be out of a job. And I honestly don't know if I want to get another job, what I want to do. Because I would love to start doing hair, but like, I could do it at home, but it's just like, I don't want everybody knowing where I'm, I'm really private, y'all. I don't want everybody knowing where I live and stuff like that. I just don't want that. So, I hope I spray my ponytail, but I'm going to spray it again. Just in case. But, yeah, I just don't want a lot of people knowing where I live and stuff like that. And it's like, well, maybe I should get a suite, but, like, suites are, like, $100 a week. You know? What I'm saying, that's a lot of money. And, um, I don't have any, like, hairstylist friends. Like, I'm the first, not in my family, in my immediate family, I'm the first to be, to 
to do hair for real. So I was like, I don't have a, a hairstylist that I can call and be like, oh, can I come borrow a seat in your shop or anything? So I don't know what I'm gonna do, y'all. Like, do I get another job? I like, I think I'm so ready to work in my field, in my career, and what I'm passionate about is just like, I don't wanna have to get another job, but I might just have to. But you never know, I have time. So maybe an opportunity will open for me and God will be like, here you go. Girl, you better take it. And I'm gonna take it, girl. But yeah, I'm not putting no more heat on my hair cause y'all, I just dyed my hair not too long ago. You see how it's already growing out? Yes, girl, it is, it is. Yep, I just dyed it not too long ago. I don't even think it's been a month yet. No, it has not been a month yet. Um, I'm looking for my comb, y'all, because I got combs everywhere. But a lot of them be having edge control on them. I'm just not trying to do that. So we're putting some on the bang. So we put about this much. This is, I put like a little bit more on the bigger sections, but like about a quarter and a dime. You see how it's stiff? Cause I had stuff on it. Yep, I did, and did. And is it just, bro, I, okay, so answer this down in the comments if you're watching this video. And that's how I know that you're rocking with me and you want to watch more of my videos. So you got to answer this question. Whenever you put oil on your hands and you put it in your hair, do you have to wash your hands afterwards but at least wet them or wipe them off? Because I have to because I hate the feeling of like oil on my hands. I just cannot do it. Y'all, you see all this stuff coming up out of here? It's a no for me. Y'all see that? But yeah. So I'm just going to split this in half. Because like I said, I don't want to take small sections. Because I already put heat on my hair. And I even... 72 hours ago. I had to redo it. Y'all, if I be making funny faces, I'm sorry, but I be trying to pay attention. And I'm looking in the um, camera screen or whatever and not the mirror. So, yeah. So we're about to do this piece right here. Bump the ends, y'all. Bump the ends because it's gonna go like right here where this hair is. I'm gonna show y'all. But you gotta bump the ends. I know we don't like bumping the ends, but sometimes you got to. And this is one of them times where you got to. You just wet that part of your hair. Okay, so after you do that, you blow dry. Hold on, cause my blow dryer ain't on. Uh... It is tied up, so what's going on?
Oh, right, that's enough, because I don't feel like <laughs> waiting, y'all. Y'all, do y'all see all that shit coming out my head? So, this section, spray it. Then, what I like to do after I spray, I don't want to go directly with the flat iron afterwards. I like to comb it through, like two or three times just so it gets all saturated and it dries a little bit. See that? Period. I need it too. Take this is your last pieces of hair. So what you do is grab your comb, comb it out, grab your spray. So you could always do this, but I don't like stuff in my face. I'm just not gonna do that. So just place it on there like that. This little piece right here, calm down. You can always put, oh, I didn't show y'all what spritz I'm using. I'm gonna use this cause I couldn't find my other one that's in a brown container. Probably because one of my little sis, one of my little, one of my sisters stole it. Because I have a big sister and a little sister and they love to play in my stuff. So you just fix your swoop however you like it. So that's how I like it. So I'm gonna give it one last spray. And I'm gonna pin it. I suggest pinning it after you blow dry it, but I know I can go back and fix it, so I'm not worried about it. And I'm not trying to have it perfect, because girl, bye. So, this is how I do it. I just pin it behind my ear. I do, hold on. I do one going up this way, one going down this way, and then I do another one going up. And I just cross it over all of them. So I'll show you what it looks like. Looks like this. And then after I'm done, I just take my fingers and I brush it out. We'll comb it out. 
You can use a wide tooth comb. I don't I don't like big soup big curl. I don't like big curls. Well, that's not the look I'm going for right now. I'm just going for like something cute and simple, not too big. But yeah, and then you can always put it in a bun. And it'd be cute. So I'll probably wear my hair like this in a bun tomorrow. But for now, just looks like this. This is what the front side looks like. And then this is what this side looks like with the bang. Forever 30. Love my cousin. <laughs> but no, for real, I do. And do. What about it? But yeah, guys, so that's it. I'm about to film my Shein haul, hopefully. And we about to get to it. Edit these videos so I can start pushing videos out. I mean, every week. I think every week I can try and at least do two videos. I'm going to try really hard because I want to be consistent. I want to be successful. And I actually like this YouTube thing. It, like, <laughs> like y'all don't even know. But I actually like this YouTube thing. And I want to keep doing it. So... I'm going to try and keep being successful with it. Let me hit my bang with the blow dryer because I just touched it and realized I did it. And unfortunately, I did have two scrunch, skunk stripes in my head. So now that my hair is growing out and my color is fading, it just looks a little iffy on the sides. But it's okay. It's like, can't do much about it. Do y'all like my nails? I like them. Yeah, but that's what they look like. I'm done with this video. I hope you guys have an amazing day, night, whatever, whenever you're watching this or come across it. Hope you have an amazing whatever. I hope you know that you are beautiful. Even if you're a bad bitch or a sad bitch, you are still a bad bitch. If you're a sad bitch, it's okay. You could be feeling like a bad bitch right now, and then you could be feeling like a sad bitch. It doesn't matter as long as you pull yourself together. That's all that matters. So I just wanted to tell y'all that. Hope y'all keep your head high. Forever be a bad bitch. Try this hairstyle out because it's cute. And it's something real quick and simple. Thank you for watching. And be sure to watch my other videos. Love y'all. And talk to y'all hoes later. Peace out.